Hey everyone, Brian here, your honest mechanic. Today I want to do an in-depth overview on what causes your vehicle's ball joints to fail prematurely. Ball joints are an extremely important part of your car's suspension system. They allow the wheels and axle to move freely, while also supporting the weight of the vehicle. But over time, these small components take quite a beating and will eventually wear out. When ball joints get too loose or break entirely, it can be extremely dangerous and lead to catastrophic failure of your ability to control the vehicle. So today, let's go under the car and break down the key reasons you may start to see worn out ball joints. The number one culprit is simple old wear and tear. Ball joints are constantly moving parts. Every turn of your steering wheel, every bump in the road, tiny movements that after tens of thousands of miles of driving will take their toll. The grease inside starts to break down, pieces wear against each other, and eventually they just get too sloppy and loose fitting. This mechanical wear will happen to all vehicles after enough mileage, typically anywhere from 70,000 to 150,000 miles, though it can certainly vary. Without regular inspections and replacements, wear and tear is guaranteed to cause even the best-built ball joints to fail with enough time. The second cause of premature failure is physical damage from impacts like potholes, debris, curbs, or crashes. A heavy enough hit at speed can twist, dent, or tear the ball joint housing. The impact forces the components out of their normal range of motion, deforming parts instead of freely rotating. Once damaged, they quickly accelerate where each time weight is put on that joint, and steering movement stresses the damaged section even more. So while an impact may not cause them to fully break right away, the damage takes a cumulative toll that eventually does. Next up, rust and corrosion. Ball joints are exposed to the elements daily. Water, snow, salt, dirt and grime build up on the outer housing and wear away at the metal over years. The protective seals and grease inside by time, but corrosion is inevitable as it slowly works deeper past those defenses. Environmental corrosion is most common in areas that heavily salt winter roads, but even dry climates see damaging effects from moisture, road debris, and basic oxidation slowly eating at the joint casing and bearings. Once the rust penetrates deeper, the structural integrity gives way, leading to premature wear, slop, and bearing failure. Manufacturing defects unfortunately do happen as well. Improperly molded parts, off-spec metal alloys, missing grease, and other assembly issues can leave new ball joints prone to early failure. The good news is manufacturing flaws tend to appear quickly, rather than slowly wearing like the other causes. Catching defects early and pursuing warranty coverage for replacement is key. So be attentive those first 10-20k miles to any signs of sloppy steering or uneven tire wear, pointing to bad ball joint. If you do notice problems, best get them inspected and swapped out under warranty right away. Lastly, heavy loads or aggressive driving. Subjecting the vehicle to heavy loads or aggressive driving maneuvers can put extra stress on the ball joints, causing them to wear out more quickly. Okay, so those are the main causes of worn ball joints. Wear and tear, damage, rust, and defects. As with most car issues, catching problems early makes a world of difference for your safety and avoiding further repairs. Simply having your mechanic inspect the ball joints every 70k miles gives peace of mind. Any very worn parts can be swapped out before they turn into broken parts. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.